now, therefore, I, Chuck Hoskin, Jr., Principal Chief of the Cherokee Nation, do hereby proclaim November 2024 as Native American Heritage Month on the Cherokee Nation Reservation. Well, we're celebrating the kickoff of Native American Heritage Month, and what better place than our capital of Tahlequah, and within our capital, what better place than our uh, historic Capitol Square. It's just been a beautiful gathering to kick off this important month. The reason we do it is we want to, number one, celebrate with the rest of the country. This is across Indian country and across the United States. It's also an opportunity for us to sort of amplify who we are, our history, our culture, our traditions, and where we're headed to a national audience and I think that's important because we do need to remind the country we're still here and we're doing some really I think important things collectively as people. I think some of the challenges are going to be very familiar to a lot of Cherokees and a lot of people across Indian country and that's protecting and defending tribal sovereignty. Even though I think we've made a lot of progress we know that there are still opponents to sovereignty and we know there are still things that have not been realized. Our treaty right to a delegate to Congress and then there's things related to that. May, do we have the resources the United States is obligated to provide? The answer is no and that, that hits things from housing to health care to education to economic development. So those things remain challenges, but what I like about this month is we can talk about Cherokee history, we can talk about our culture and traditions, but it gives us an opening to really talk to the country about what the contemporary challenges are, of, of, of which I've named a number, but there are a great many more. So I think amplifying that again this month is important because we're also talking to policymakers, and I think that's a, a, a good focus for this month as well. Well, it's consequential in the sense that every presidential election is consequential. This one feels particularly so. I mean, democracy feels a bit fragile right now. But if you look down ballot within the state of Oklahoma, there's really important uh, races and issues. I think one of the ones that uh, doesn't get enough attention is the retention of Supreme Court justices. We know there's an effort to uh, take them off the bench, and we know that their greatest offense in the last five years has been that they sided with the rule of law and tribal sovereignty. They did that. It drove some people crazy. They're trying to get them off the bench. So look, this election's important for all the national reasons that we should care about. But in this state, that race, those three justices, Gurich, Edmondson, and Cogger, very consequential. And so I think that it's interesting that it aligns with Native American Heritage Month because the elections are really consequential to the future of Indian country. And you can see it right here in Oklahoma.